all. This is Jennifer Gamble. I'm with nextlevelguitar.com and I'm here to show you just the basics of some slide guitars. For me personally, I, I picked a glass slide. I like the way it sounds. I think um, there's, you got your choice between glass and metal slides. Both are good. Uh, metal slides don't break and shatter like glass ones, which has happened to me before, but um, I like the sound of the glass slide. I think it has a... I think it has a warmer sound than the metal slide. I think the metal slide is a little bit more tinny and um, aluminum sounding. So I picked a glass slide. Uh, they have they come in all sizes, so you got, make sure you get one that fits your finger. Which finger do you use? Usually, don't use your first finger because you want to keep that free to play chords and things. Some people use their middle finger. Not very many, but some do. Joe Walsh uses his middle finger, and that leaves his his um, third and fourth fingers free and his first finger to play chords. Uh, a lot of players, most popular is to play it on your third finger and um, you know you can play always play your your power chords with your your pinky finger and your first finger. Pers personally I played on my on my pinky finger because it's my weakest finger and you don't it doesn't require a lot of strength to play slide guitar I mean, it doesn't require any strength at all, really, or any dexterity. So I use my pinky finger because that leaves my strong fingers free to play other solos and other chords. Basically, you want to find a slide that's going to fit your finger, the one you want to play it on, and not fall off and just stay there. So I picked a slim one because it's, it's not too fat and it's easy to, to rest over the frets. And um, when you first start playing slide, the, the main thing you want to remember is you don't press down with the slide. You just, you're basically just going to rest it over the strings, not pressing down, not using any pressure, keeping it floating. I even keep my thumb out of the way. If you notice, my thumb is, when I play slide, when I play slide leads, my thumb is out here with the rest of my fingers. And it just leaves my, my slide free to float wherever it wants. I mean, the cool thing to do is get a, an actual like as glass aspirin bottle, and you yeah, know. Yeah, like that's what Dre and Almond use. And you can go on eBay and find all different. Believe it or not, when I when I shattered my my glass one, I needed it for a gig, and I ended up trying a, a beer bottle because I thought, well, that would be really cool if I could go up and use a beer bottle on stage. So, you know, I had to dump the excess liquid out, and I I got my beer bottle. Figured I couldn't hold it this way, so I ended up holding it this way, and. Didn't work so well because it's way too wide, you know, for the for the frets. So I, I ended up going in the back and pulling out my my lipstick case, and I, I pulled out the tube from my lipstick container, which is I think plastic, but it fit around my finger, and I was able to use that as a slide. And I've actually heard of other guitar players doing that before. So that it, I actually got that I think I got that idea from Alex Lifeson. I I don't remember exactly who used that the first time, but I know I I read that somewhere. Yeah. So when you come to, to playing the slide, you want to play on strings where you can play one or two or three notes together because you're basically stuck in this position. You want to you want to be you want to have your slide perpendicular to the neck of the guitar and, and horizontal with the fret. So here's your fret. You want your slide right there in exact parallel with the fret. And in fact, you want to be pretty much on top of the fret when you play your notes. You don't want to be behind the frets. You're going to little, get a little twanginess. You don't want to be in front of them. The notes are going to be off. So you want to be right on there, and you don't want to press down. So you're just, you know, you're just touching the string with the slide. So here you're playing. I'm just playing right on top of that fret at the fifth fret. Listen if I slide down a little bit. See how it's off? You want to be right on top of that fret playing the two middle strings right here. If I slide up a little bit, off. Okay, so you want to be right on that fret. You don't want to be angled. You got bad notes again, okay? So you want to be right in parallel with your frets. You're doing your lift. Second one. Got that? Here we go. So B in the high E, the, the B in the high E strings, and you're going to go all the way up to the 12th fret. So you're going to start on the 10th fret and slide up. You're going to move it over to the B in the E strings, 
and you're gonna you know play with some some aggression and just start on the tenth fret and slide up slide up to the twelfth fret so let's do it real slow okay so it's the exact same riff just on different strings so you want to mute everything else except for your B and your high E okay with your right hand just kind of rest your palm there and pluck your B string. You're going to start with your B string on the 10th fret and slide up. So slide up on the B, slide up from the 10th fret to the 12th and hit your E when you get up to that 12th fret. You might want to up chuck that with your pick, up pick. Or you could hold, do a whole chord. I don't recommend going down. Do it up, up pick. So sliding up from the tenth fret to the twelfth on the B string. Hit that up pick on your high E, and then go from there. Lift your slide off the neck. Mute your strings. Press it back down to where you started on the twelfth on the tenth fret, and then just do that. Plucking down two times, and on the third time, slide up. Got that? So it'll be something like this. Okay, so you can practice that with the riff. Go from the riff.